Hi guys, I'm taking a short break this summer so I've got a few guest videos lined up for you and the first one is today and that's Elia over at Valet Pro and he's just going to quickly show us how to use the advanced compound on a single stage enhancement detail on a VW Golf R so yep we'll crack on and get straight into this video. <music> Hi guys, Elliot from Valet Pro. Today we've got this uh, Golf R in. It's got some pretty bad paint defects in it. So we're gonna just go down a quick process. We're gonna do some clay bar and decontamination, and then we're gonna do some polishing. We do like a 50-50, uh, and then we'll polish the whole door, and you can just see some before and afters. So we've got our, our clay rider, which is our clay loop. And we've got our heavy contamination removal bar, which is our blue one. Uh, we've got three different types. Blue is heavy. Uh, yellow is medium and then orange is mild so this one is perfect for sort of like German sort of hard type paints uh, and also for like sort of doing your your deep decontaminations uh, this will cause marring so you will need to polish afterwards uh, but it won't be so bad you know due to the uh, the clay rider just sort of aiding it uh, this will just reduce the, the marring but unfortunately because of the type of the clay bar you are going to get marring from it Pop the rest back in the pot that we don't need just till later. Stop that from getting dirty. And we just knead our bar. And especially in the winter where it's cold, it does get quite hard. So just by kneading the bar and working it, it does just, just slightly soften it up. So you sort of get it into sort of a disc shape. Just apply the clay rider over the panel, liberally. And then just working in straight lines. Start at the top, the bottom, just because of where it is on the car, it's probably going to have a lot more contamination. So if you start at the top where it's got less, then you're going to get the most out of the clay bar. So working in straight lines, just work the panel. Don't have to put too much pressure on. Just go over the other way, just cross hatch. That's one bit done, so we just check now. So you can see it's picking up some dirt there. So we just knead that clay bar into a clean bit, turn it over. You can see it's picking up a lot more as we get further down, sort of a lot more larger, see a lot of tar there. So again, knead your clay bar to a nice fresh clean bit. Still got a bit of life left in this clay bar. So uh, we won't throw this away just yet, but I finished this panel now, so I'm just going to pop it down to one side. I'm going to grab one of my clean cloths. I'm just going to wipe the residue of the clay rider off there. As you can see in this, there's lots of swells, like deep scratches. There's also, I think, I imagine this has been painted at some point, uh, wet sanding marks and holograms. So. Uh, we're going to mask, just do a line, a masking line down the middle. There's a bit of mar in there from the clay barn, but that doesn't matter too much because we, we're going to polish this anyway. Um, but yeah, there's lots and lots of different defects in this paint. We've also um, taped up all of the trims as well. So these things like rubbers and plastics and stuff like that that you don't want the compound getting into because uh, it's, it's easier to mask them up than it is to try and get rid of, sort of get the white sort of compound marks out of it. So we'll just do that first, it protects it also stops it from getting onto the pad so you know makes your pad go black and stuff like that so you don't want anything like that contaminating the pad so we've got our dual action machine polisher and we're going to use our maximum cut microfiber pad uh, this is just because the, it's hard paint uh, and uh, it's got some quite bad defects in it so this is going to give us our maximum cut and then we're going to use our advanced compound which is a, a medium cut compound so these two together should be more than enough to get rid of the defects in the paint. Just put a couple of blobs in and just work that into the new pad. This is a new pad, so we're just going to prime it as much as you would do like a foam pad, but it's just good to get it nice and even in there. And then four blobs. I'm just going to spread it evenly. Then we're going to start off at a low speed just to spread our compound 
and then after that we're going to speed up and then slow the movements of the polisher down for our cut. Now we're going to speed up the machine polisher and then move slowly and that's going to give us the cut. tape off now and then reveal. So we've just done a few passes there, you know, nothing too crazy, not change pads or anything like that. Just cut the passes with the microfiber pad and the advanced compound just so you can see sort of like what you can do. You can see a clear line there. Unfortunately some of the I mean the light I mean that scratch will never come out. You'll get, you'll go through the lacquer before you get that out. That's really deep. Some of the larger scratches there, still here, but sort of apart from that, I'd say you're probably about 86% done on the defects in that. And you can see that there's a huge difference between the clarity of the colours of the panel and the, and the sort of colours coming through. So this is what you can achieve uh, with our advanced compound, microfiber pad and a single stage pass. Uh, we've decided we're just going to do a single stage on this car just because we've only got a day, so we're not going to go too crazy with it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, uh, keep you up to date with all the new videos that we've got coming, product releases, products in use and anything interesting that we decide that we're going to film. Uh, also, if you like this video, give it a like uh, and give us a comment if you've got any feedback for us. Thanks for watching. So thanks very much to Elliot and the guys over at Valet Pro for stepping in and producing this for us and hope you guys found this interesting. We'll put a link as well to subscribe to their channel just here and one for our channel here as we normally do. And also I'll put a couple of videos probably over my face now that I think you might find interesting. So yeah, we've got a few more of these lined up, so make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.